actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, wow, toilets are dangerous 11, set in Hokkaido. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of EMZ Hitgal. So moving on to our briefing, who'd have thought toilets were so deadly? Help these people find out why, 47. I hope you enjoy it. So moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them. All must be eliminated via a drowning accident, and we can wear any disguise we see fit. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting in the morgue, and we're going to be bringing with us our Seeker 1, an Egmetic Gas Grenade, and some coins. You're the curator's research aid, right? So, right from the start and off the bat, uh, we're just going to wait for the mortician there to make his way around the table before we hop off of our gurney here and we're going to make our way straight to the security room and we can secure ourselves a guard's outfit one of the crazy eight and we can also take care of the surveillance system uh, keep that in mind uh, that will come up again later on so once we're into the security room we just quickly duck behind the guard here render him unconscious, hide his body in the closet provided, we're going to take his gun just for good measure, and his outfit, and then we're going to take out the surveillance system. Uh, keep that in mind, the cameras are no longer active. So from here we're going to make our way upstairs to the uh, hospital section of the hospital, and to the toilets where one of our targets here he is is already in attendance unfortunately we are not yet set up as you can see a couple of our other targets are nearby as well so we're going to make our way into the first cubicle here we're going to place a couple of coins on the floor by the toilet and at this point our first target friend should be just leaving and when he does we are then going to place our third coin just in the door jam area here and that will prevent that door from closing so the door will keep trying to close but will fail to do so so that when our first target arrives they will see that coin and that will lead them to the other two coins and all we have to do is wait for them to get close enough. Uh, another target has arrived in the room. So we'll just let the door close behind us before we pounce on the scientist here and reintroduce them to, I'm assuming, would be a very meager breakfast. Probably eaten in a hurry as well. So target one taken care of, we're going to collect up our coins and we also need this body discovered. So as you can see the crazy eight guard is just leaving again. So once again we're going to place a coin in the door jam here which will keep the door open. We're going to do the same on the outer door as well. So just even though it has a glass door, I don't trust it as a glass door. I will treat it as a solid door, which means the door must be open in order for the body to be discovered. So once we have those two doors jammed open, we're going to open a door to the lab there, throw our coin against the wall. That will get the attention of the scientist target within. And when he goes to investigate the body, we are going to collect up all of our coins and we're going to move a safe distance 
and it's a little bit further than we usually go because we want to get past the security room just here as there are a, a number of enforcer guards in there so we're just going to wait here for the panic to calm down and the body to be removed and then we're going to just set up the exact same experiment again so we're going to make our way into the cubicle we're going to place two coins on the floor just in front of the toilet uh, you could probably get away with just the one coin but i have found that a number of npcs don't notice the coin if they're too close to the toilet so i place two coins we're also going to place our third coin to keep the door open there and then we're just going to wait in the corner of the room and the crazy eight guard will eventually return and only just spot that coin there hmm. and when he goes in to collect up the second and third coins he okay. should then be well within range of being reintroduced to his breakfast now go on get in there mate one more step forward i dare you there we go so that will be our second target in this area now taken care of and just like we did with the first we also need his body discovered and removed so we now have a, an extra gun we're just going to retrieve all of our coins and we're going to pry open the doors here or prop open the doors i'm going to use a gun on this first door this time uh, it shouldn't affect anything it should work just like the coin it will hold the door open i'm just a bit worried that the scientist we're about to lure over will spot the gun and wander off without spotting the body thankfully enough he spotted the body long before the gun so we're just gonna follow him in retrieve the coins and the gun and once again make our way down the corridor a safe distance while we wait for the body retrieval to take place so with two targets in this area now dispatched we have one more to go and that is the scientist we have been traumatizing with the discoveries of the dead bodies so we're just going to pull out our seeker one creep around the corner here and shoot him with the seeker one he will get sick he will make his way into the exact same cubicle where he has been twice traumatized in the past and this time will be the last so all we have to do is follow him in close the door behind us so we're not disturbed and then reintroduce him to his breakfast if he even bothered to have one this morning personally i don't bother so three targets taken care of we now have a bit of a journey ahead of us because our remaining two targets are all the way down in the hotel part of the map and in the staff only basement area now i'm gonna go the extremely scenic route mostly because i've forgotten that i've already taken out the cameras now you could take a much more direct route to the kitchen area uh, i'm going the extreme long way because i'm avoiding the non-functioning cameras that i have forgotten i have already dealt with it's only at this point i remember when i'm thinking how am i going to get past this one and then realize it's not actually working so here is our next target sat down having their lunch and we need to be rather careful with this shot uh, so we want to basically throw the gas grenade on the table or directly at our target but we also want to do it without exposing ourselves as he is facing us so we're gonna try and get the partition to block us as much as possible and as soon as we throw the gas grenade we're gonna move behind the partition that will get our target and at least one other person sick i have managed to make four people sick in the past with one gas grenade in that little area uh, luckily enough the one person 
we have managed to make rather unwell is our target. So we're just going to follow them into the bathroom and into the cubicle, reintroduce them to their lunch, which they've barely had time to digest. And then we can move on to our final target. And our final target is located in the changing rooms. He is currently having a shower and probably singing rather badly to himself. So all we have to do is make our way into the shower room, pull out our Seeker 1, shoot our target in the back. He will get sick, he will stop singing badly and ruining whatever tune he's trying to recreate. He will make his way into the bathroom provided and all we have to do is reintroduce him to whatever it is he has been eating for his meals today. So with our final target now taken care of, all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape. Uh, we have two exits that are viable, the nearest of which by a small margin will be the helicopter exit. It also has the least enforcers to worry about, so that's the exit we'll be going for. You could also go for the snowmobile, but there is a guard enforcer in the corridor. So there we go, one more trending contract taken care of, and we have confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan, and we get our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.